Today I'm going to be showing you how you can see the deleted messages you have sent and others have sent you over the past few years, days, months, whatever the case may be on Discord. Okay, so this is pretty easy. On the desktop version, I don't know if there's a way to do this on mobile. There probably is. Um, one of you guys tell me in the comments below if there is. Before the video continues, there's only 13% of you guys who are subscribed, which honestly makes me kind of sad. So if you can do me a favor and subscribe right now, I greatly appreciate it, and you can always unsubscribe later. On desktop version, you can also do this, by the way, on the web browser version. You can go to user settings in the bottom corner. You go all the way to privacy and safety. You scroll all the way down and click request data. Click that, and then it says it may take us up to 30 days to collect your data. We will send you an email to the address you registered with when the package is ready. Then you have the options, I've changed my mind, or request my data. Click request my data, or click I've changed my mind. But if you're here to see all the messages that you've sent and others have sent you, and just what you've been doing on Discord the past couple of years, click request my data. It says our privacy farmers have begun harvesting your data as if they weren't already doing that. <laughs> this can take up to 30 days, but we'll email you when it's done. Click OK. Now, I'll have you know that this typically takes an hour or two. I don't know why they say 30 days. I guess it depends on how big your account is, but you'll see whenever you clicked on it. You've recently requested a copy of your data. You can request again on May 25th. So you have exactly one month where you can't request data. So once I get mine, I will show you how to view your data and all the things you've done. Okay, so I know I said it typically takes me a few hours to maybe days. Well, I absolutely lied. This took about two and a half weeks, which I wasn't expecting, but I got it nonetheless. And here's what it looks like. You get an email from Discord and it says pretty much, your data package is ready to download until a month from when it was received. So I received this on May 4th, and this is valid until June 4th. So this is all valid for exactly a month after receiving the email. Now what I do want to do is show you guys this DM right here. This is what I deleted. In the middle right over here, I deleted best guess in DMs with my friend before I requested the package. And this is that screenshot right there. So that's the message that I had before I requested the data package. And then right before I requested it, I deleted it right here. If you look over here, you'll see that best game is not here. Don't actually question these DMs, um, just, just understand that best game is not here, and then I requested the data package. What we're going to be looking for is exactly this DM right here, best game. Okay, so now that I cleared that up, what you're going to want to do when you get your data package is just click, you can download it here. Once you get it, it'll just download right here, and depending how big your whole discord presence are dms servers whatever i'm guessing it can be quite big i don't know if 135 megabytes is big for a data package i know nothing about this but it's downloading and it's taking a little minute for some reason my internet's being slow today oh shit i'm watching emaru oh shit there's my editing oh shit that's my spotify how many things are open okay so now it's downloaded here it is right here and I'm just going to open it up, and I'm going to get the classic WinWar. Uh, you have 30 days, please buy our program, which no one ever buys. So once you have it open, you'll see you have servers, programs, messages, activity, and account. You also have a little readme, which kind of just tells you that this is your data package. If you need any help, they've got support articles on how to read it. Now, one thing is, everything is in JSON files, and I typically don't know how to use that. So I think if I was told correctly chrome or firefox oh god well i opened it and this is what popped up okay so i i pretty much just realized that i don't like 
JSON files at all, so I'm just going to load up messages, and it comes in a little Excel um, sheet here, which honestly is just nothing. So after doing some more research, you can apparently just throw these into a notepad. I'm not going to do the account, because I already did the account. Apparently, I'm in the Taco Shack official Discord server, but that's not what we want to see. We want to see messages, and the thing is, I don't know um, which user is the one that I want. Which is going to get very, very, very difficult. There's an index here. Wait, does it actually tell me who they are? Oh my god, it does. Okay. Alright. So you go to the bottom thing over here where it says the index. And you have to try to find that user and find like their number. Um, their ID. And it's going to be somewhere here. So I'm going to go do that right now. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I looked through that index for a very long time. And I still can't find what I'm looking for. The exact DMs. But all I gotta say to you um, is all the DMs that you have had is all here. And I thought it would be helpful if I could look for the exact date that DM was made. But since I downloaded this, which I thought this would be helpful, all the information that they're giving me is when my data package was ready, which is May 5th, 2022 at 1.31am apparently. That's it. So none of these actually like helped me when they were captured. Um... So that just really sucks. Even though you have an index, which, let me get it again, is like right here. On Notepad, at least, you can't like, you can't just search for the terms that you want. So all of this is just pretty difficult to look through. If you have another Notepad um, feature thing that allows you to search things, it's probably going to be pretty easy. But for me, I don't, and that's just kind of annoying. But all your messages are, are here, and if you even want to look more into things, you can with servers, which here it is, for example, that's, you can't view an auto log, of course you can't. Let's uh, look at emojis. No, none of these actually just work at all. I assume if you have, like, access to, like, auto logs of Discord servers, these would be filled with something. But... When, yeah, when you just have, like, basic, like, user to a server with no, like, admin or anything, I'm pretty sure these are just pointless unless you own the server. Now, if I end up finding my own server somewhere, I could probably have access to it, but that's just going to be really, really long. But, yeah, that's where this video is going to end off. What channels? Oh. But, yeah, that's where this video is going to end off. This is how you can request your Discord data package and view previous messages that you have sent. And a whole bunch of other things like your account information, your activity, uh, messages, uh, servers, and programs, which I don't know what programs are. I don't know how that works. Um, but yeah, that's how you can do that. And if you did like the video, please make sure to drop it a like and subscribe if you are new. And make sure to hit that bell because i don't really push it but hit that bell youtube notifications are always weird so make sure to hit that bell and all that good stuff thanks peace